guys, this is Kendra from Crafty Kendra, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card. And this card is my interpretation of a sample card from Stampin' Up! Celebration catalog. And in this catalog, there are stamp sets that are limited time only that Stampin' Up! has created for this celebration. And if you don't know what celebration is, it's an annual sale where for every $50 you spend, you get a free stamp set from the catalog and this is the stamp set that we'll be using. It's on page 5 and there's the sample card. But if you don't like any of the celebration products, there's also a whole list on the back page of stamp sets from the catalog that you can choose from. How you earn a free celebration item is by spending $50. And don't worry, because we've all been there where you just want to spend an extra $7 to get another thing. I fall victim to that a lot. Another way to get one of this, these items, including the set we're using today, is to host a workshop that totals over $300 in sales before shipping and tax. There's also a special promotion if you've ever thought about joining the Stampin' Up! family. It's a great time to do it because the starter kit is 15% off and you'll also get a bonus bundle of over $50 worth of Stampin' Up! products. But if you want to get this set or get a hold of any of these deals, you've got to make sure you do it before March 31st. That's the end of this month because the sale is going to be over. And this stamp set that we're using today, along with all the special celebration stamp sets that are in here, are going to be gone. So let's go ahead and get started with the card. I have a five and a half by four and a quarter uh, card base of So Saffron cardstock, and I have it so that it's scored the at the top of the card to make it a long card. And we're going to take this stamp from that Bliss stamp set, and we're going to ink it up in Daffodil Delight. And we're going to stamp it onto our cardstock repetitively, creating a kind of pattern paper background, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to take a one and a half by four and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock and we're going to take the stamp from the set that says Bliss and we're going to ink that stamp up in Crumb Cake ink. We're going to stamp it towards the right side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and in Melon Mambo we're going to stamp the butterfly from the set. And in Garden, I mean not Garden Green, Old Olive, sorry, Old Olive, we are going to stamp the little bird from that set. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut those out, which I've gone ahead and already done ahead of time. We're going to set those aside. Next thing we're going to do is, as you can see on my card, I have a little button here. And when, this button is actually one of the other free items you can get from Celebration. And it comes in a pack like this with all these fun buttons and also comes with ribbon. It's the Ice Cream Parlor Buttons and Ribbons Pack. And what I've done is I've taken a little sliver of Whisper White cardstock and I've threaded it through the button and adhered it to a piece of Garden Gala Designer Series paper. Oh no, I'm sorry, Greenhouse Gala Designer Series paper. And I punched it out with my Boho Blossoms Punch, this large one right here. And we're going to go ahead and set that aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little scallop circle punch from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack and some Whisper White cardstock that we've crumpled up. And we're going to punch out three of these little scallop circles. And 
and you're going to want to do the same thing with some scrap so saffron and you're going to want to punch out either three or four of those and after you're done with that you're going to set those aside next thing we're going to do is take a one inch a one inch by four and a quarter inch piece of Pacific Point and we're going to get out our scallop border punch and what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and lining it up on the, the punch itself you're going to make it to where it's centered to where you have the same amount of a scallop showing here and here and I don't mean oh you need four scallops at the end at each at each end I mean that you want to make sure that if you have only half a scallop showing right here by the paper, you want half a scallop showing over here. So I'm going to go ahead and center that, and then I'm going to punch, slide my paper down to where the scallops right here that are silver are not showing, and punch again. Then I'm going to slide it in the other way. And do the same thing to where you can't see the scallops at the top and punch again. And after I've done that, you get a perfect border with even scallops on the edge. Now what you're going to do is take your Whisper White piece that you stamped Bliss on, you're going to flip it over so that you're putting adhesive on the bottom right here of the piece. You're just going to run a little strip of snail down there flip it back over and what you're going to do is you're going to take your scallop piece that you just made and line it up so just some of the scallops are showing as much or as little as you want to show and press it down whenever you're done doing that you're going to take your finger and you're going to uh, rough up some of these corners on this whisper white piece Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some mini glue dots. You're going to put one on the back of your greenhouse gala piece that has that button on it and just put it down. Do the same thing with some of your white pieces that you punched out with that itty bitty punch pack scallop circle. randomly on the paper. Then you're going to take your Melon Mambo Butterfly and you're going to push up the wings a little bit and put it down. Put your little bird over here so that your page looks like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and flip it over. And you're going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on it. And I like to put five to make sure that it stays up and stays in place. Make sure you press them down really well and go ahead and take off the back. Okay, and with the Dimensionals still facing up, you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna set it aside. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your card base again and some linen thread and you're going to wrap it around your card base two times and then you're going to tie a little bow Pulling on the tails and then pulling on the bows again until you get the bow how you want it.
Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut the tails to your desired length. Okay. Alright, and then you're going to take this piece that we put our dimensionals on, you're going to put it onto your card base, so there's about an inch and a half at the bottom showing. Press it down, and then slide your linen thread down so it's just right above your little whisper white piece. You're going to take your sew saffron little scallop circles and you're going to randomly, I guess that glue dot didn't want to work, you're going to <laughs> randomly stick them on the paper and this time I'm only using three and this last one I'm going to have stick off the page a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my scissors and trim the extra off. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my spritzer tool and I'm going to take my chocolate chip Stamp-A-Write marker and I'm going to put my brush in pretty far because I want it to be really splotchy. Test it on my paper first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do it onto the bottom pretty heavy and then trail it up the top just a little. And then I'm going to trade out my chocolate chip marker for my Sahara sand. And this time I want it to be a kind of fine mist. So we're going to leave just a little tip out. Test it on your paper again. Don't have it down quite enough. Okay, now you're just going to come in and you're going to spritz a little. And this will help just dirty it up a little bit. Okay. And there's a quick card using Celebration Stamp Set called Bliss. And if you have any question, more questions about Celebration or how to make this card, please just let me know. Thanks, guys.